everybody, one of the from here. It is Thursday, March 26, 2015, 3.19 a.m. We've got Black Hat. We've gone through his base upgrades. What I try to do, trying to save a little bit of money, not buy two of every single character anymore, as much as I hate to. I probably will attempt to get Black Hat uh, if he ever falls into like a discounted price point or something. Or we get into one of those weird deals where it's like a buy one, get one 40%, and I've got all the Skylanders, or they don't have all of the next wave, or whatever it may be, then yes... Uh, I will seize the moment and secure the second blackout. I was honestly thinking, I thought I would like Wing Warrior because it was fairly straightforward. Prince of Darkness, I thought that last one would be epic. It was. It was cool to look at. Uh, it's actually a great path in my opinion. The second upgrade, which, what was it called? Um, mm, under the cover of darkness. Let me see what that is. That's something good on. Oh, okay. Uh, that's uh, Tim from Twitter wondering when we're going to get some Twitch of Skylanders. That is coming. The problem is Wave 4 has appeared. And uh, to answer his question, though, I think my next stream of Skylanders is going to be special. Uh, there is a deal with the X-Bone where you have until April Fool's Day to complete Wave 100 of Skylanders Trap Team, or Chaos's Doom Challenge. And if you recall, the Wave 50 had to be done by New Year's. Uh, I was working on that, and there was like this epic storm that came through here, knocked the power out in the middle of that, and I had to frantically try to finish. Uh, we had a ton of people watching that one, too. So I think this weekend, I will probably go for that. So you heard it here first. Uh, just a heads up. I don't know. So I'm thinking maybe Saturday uh, night. Uh, not sure how late is the problem, so that's that's what I'm shooting for right now. We'll see if it pans up. Uh, might have the walkthrough king with me. I don't know just yet, but uh, that was a nice little interruption on Tim's part. So uh, that said, we've got Prince of Darkness here, and like I said, that middle upgrade under the cover of Darkness, that thing reduces damage roughly 50% if not more. It was pretty awesome. Everyone's going to talk about cloud gravity just because of how unique and cool it looks. Under the cover of darkness gets my vote as the most important aspect with that path. Dark energy clouds is easy to overlook but it's straightforward and increases damage and increases the time that the dark cloud is there for you to utilize with under the cover of darkness. And then cloud gravity just looks really cool. It's like a visual spectacle. But I would actually rate it third most important on Prince of Darkness. That said, this is all about Wing Warrior. And it's going to improve the Wing Whip attacks. This is basically... The Black Hole was just left behind. It's addressed with the Soul Gym, which is fantastic. Uh, you'll see that at the end of the video if you have not watched uh, Prince of Darkness. But Wing Warrior is going to address the primary... Prince of Darkness addressed the secondary, so pretty much straight across the board there. We're going to go ahead and do Wing Warrior here. I think we can actually document all of this in the training grounds, which is great on mine. That, however, was a pointless cutscene, so I do that to make the video more complete, you know. But uh, we're going to get started with a spinning finish. I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet now. And we've got XXX for a ground pound combo and XXXXX to charge ahead as a Shadow Blade. 1191 is the price with our 15 wing sapphires. This should be interesting, I think. I also want to see if it did anything to the standard numbers. No. Oh, my apologies, Chomp Chest is still in there. <laughs> so, what can you do? So, XXX is going to allow us... 60. And Chomp Chest loves it. Now, though, it's cool. I can actually kind of control the direction of land, and it's got really great range on it, because... This guy is one of my favorite villains, that Chomp Chest. So, a spinning finish is going to be... Um, I'm going to put X3... Uh, how would I do that? I don't really know. I'm going to do 3 combo equals 60 to 90. That should be the critical number. And then 4 combo equals... Let's find Press out. Press the tag button to play as your capture. Then press the tag button again to return to play. 
Okay, not getting it to execute, whatever it might be. Alright, a spinning finish. XXX for a ground pound combo. XXXX to charge ahead as a shadow blade. Silly. Okay, now we got it. Now we're not getting out of the shadow. If I can just get that to hit. I'm getting very close. So maybe about here. And that was the ground pound. Quigley, get out of my way. You're a psycho. We get the blade whenever I don't need it. So 60. So it's the same thing. <laughs> Bravo, so that's the exact same damage number, 60 to 90. Go figure. Four combo is 60 to 90. I'm about to pull that guy. Um, anyway, 60 to 90 on both of them basically. It just depends if you prefer one, two, and then the ground pound, which I kind of do, or if you like trying to get this to work and hit an enemy, which would be rather bad. So that thing I'm thinking will be more of an incidental deal, like I'm just spamming the primary attack button and then I happen to go into it inadvertently. And if it makes contact, great. If not, I go back to primary, 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 going for the three combo. So, uh, that's it. Ready for another magical upgrade? Actually, we're not, because I want to see now... Did that see? 52 still on that. Still 20 to 30 there, so no changes with that. I just wanted to double check. Alright, so Whip It Up is up next. Wing Whip, Shadow Blade, and Warp Speed Attacks do more damage. We don't have a Warp Speed Attack. What is it? Oh, well, I don't know. Seems like Warp Speed should come before that. Whip It Up. I don't know. Uh, anyway, we're gonna buy Warp Speed first and see what it does before it gets upgraded. I guess. Uh, hold X to repeatedly teleport through enemies and pierce and piercing them with your horn. Hold X to repeatedly teleport through enemies and piercing them. I'm thinking this got rushed or something because I feel like warp speed should have been the middle upgrade to begin with and then if you read it you can probably see it was probably like one of those like this was supposed to be done yesterday on a side note it's 326 a.m. on 326 which is always cool uh, I used to always watch my watch like in junior high so I think I had like an Iron Man or something uh, it was before I graduated past the digital scale one of my goals every day was to see like 11 11 11 I don't know why that class was horrible that I was doing I think it was eighth grade and uh I didn't enjoy it. It was one of those classes you had to take as like a home ec type deal, but not. It was more of like the, you know, non-practical side of things. It's just like a waste of everyone's time is what it really was. And uh, it was such a waste of time that literally what got me through that was looking at my watch and waiting for 11, 11, 11. No joke. True story. Uh, that said, warp speed's what we're going to take. Hold X to repeatedly teleport through enemies and pierce them with your horn. 2101 is the price with the discount. Uh, if you did or do or currently are looking at a watch, waiting whether you be at school or work or in class at college or, you know, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, but if you've ever done that, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know I am not alone in my watch watching quests. So, <laughs> that said, hold X and we dash around. Oh, really? So he is locked on to that. I can move. Um, oh, now we're locked on to him. You move very slow while you're doing this. He's kind of got the twitches too. Okay. Let's see what happens. I'm just gonna, I guess, let go of X. What? I don't understand that. <clears throat> I don't understand that attack at all. To the online strategy guide. Warp speed. Hold attack Press one to repeatedly teleport through enemies and pierce them with your horn. 
Then press the tag button again to return. Um, I'm holding a tag one. Okay, so we did teleport that time. I'm just not doing any damage with it. I totally should have. I thought this was gonna be something with, like do crazy attack damage. Hmm, I guess we need real enemies, so. To know what all island we go, my friends. Th that is a bit of a disappointment. That said, it could be fantastic. Uh, we just don't know because it's apparently not registering. So. <clears throat> Everything was going all too smooth, it seems. Alright, so. It looks pretty menacing, you know, from the. First from order the of business? Here. How about we unlock that door over there? <sighs> I can actually collect cash and provided I don't reset him to give back to Alright, so I'm gonna hop down here. I don't care about taking damage. I'm just gonna hold the X button. About four seconds there. Oh, now that is totally worth it. Why did that not register at the training grounds? <clears throat> I'm just letting go of X, and he just goes ballistic on him. <laughs> so, kudos to you, sir. Yeah, that's awesome. So, I'm going to document this before we forget. Uh, warp speed, hold, or I say, three second charge, and then 78, half of 78 is 39. 78 and 39 is 117, so it should be 78 to 117, I believe, if my 3.30 a.m. math is correct. And <clears throat> I don't know how many times it was hitting, maybe four-ish? Not 100% sure. I know why you you want but again, that looked incredibly lame and non-functional at the Academy, and then here against Real Enemy, it just looks really, really cool. So, and of course, the next upgrade is actually going to do more damage. So we might actually go ahead and buy that from Persephone. And we can check it out here, since we have to be in a chapter, if you will. Ready for another well, sure are. We thought we'd visit you in an exotic location with pizza in the corner. That said, Whip It Up is the second base upgrade, or second path upgrade, if you will, but I think it should be the last one, because Wing Whip, which is your box stock attack, Shadow Blade, which is your base upgrade attack that you get with it, uh, that was doing 20 to 30, I believe, and Warp Speed, which we just saw that does 78 to 117, all do more damage. The price is 1541 here, so we'll go ahead and take that. And let's actually grab the Soul Gym, too. I know what it does. I don't know if you do. It depends if you watch the videos in order or not. But Supernova Black Hole. Shoot two black holes on top of each other to create a Supernova Black Hole. Cost 2801, and it is worth every penny. Uh, I would pay extra for this one, if that tells you. So, uh, very, very good Soul Gym. Alright. And actually, uh, to answer Tim's question further, if not for the Wave 4 characters coming out and interrupting my flu, uh, we totally would have like, been in uh, the next chapter right now. So, what we want to do, I guess, is we'll of the air see what the wings do. Zone. 109! Sweet, that was critical, dude. Oh, wow. Okay, well. Um, let's see here. Let's try. Let's see what this does. That should be 102 to 153. So, something to 109. I'm not listening to him. You can if you'd like to. Um, Always looks cool. And then the shadow blade. And then lastly we would have warp speed and I've forgotten, I think it was 102, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Right. Welcome, Padre. Neither are we. 
This is another case where a bomb could really come in handy. Let's get these guys out of here. I'll show you a little trick for a lob goblin here in a little bit. Okay. Lights out. Oh, I was holding the wrong button. <laughs> My bad. Here we go. 102. Yeah, I think there might be four instances of damage there. Why did he not jump down a while back? That nut jump. So let's see if we can just uh, finish these guys off with this warp speed. Yeah, now watch this. I'm going to hit him with the uh, black hole too. Don't die, don't die, don't die. People need to see something. Okay, it didn't land completely like it should have. Okay, now he's gonna get it. Dun, dun, dun. He's already dead, sadly. Well, no he wasn't, but he is now, because that did 450 damage with a sweet, sweet soul gem. <laughs> so, uh, pretty cool stuff there. We need to eat that pizza, actually. Um, I know if we broke that, we could get Buzzer Beak, but I honestly don't want to switch to a Trap Master. So we're not going to. I'm going to see... I think there's some enemies not too far away. Um, I guess we have to talk to him to get the stupid thing to work. Yep, thanks, Blobbers. Alright. Isn't there like a... Uh oh, I was going to get somebody. The steam pressure will be so intense, this plug will shatter. <laughs> Guess it's up there. That's going to be very exciting. You're doing it. <laughs> no, that worked out well. I don't think I would have even had to touch that. Now we can ride the steam. Blobbers away. All right, so what do we want to do here? Let's try the dash again. So, I think we're gonna need another boulder. I saw actually four instances of damage. So that's what I'm gonna run with. 73 on wings. So let me pause this. Uh, warp speed 102, 2. Should be 153. Four times. Uh, wing whip, I think, is. What was it? That gum, I think it was 72. I'm not 100 percent sure there. Doesn't really add up is the problem I've got. Should be a troll somewhere around here. Just not sure where. I guess he's gonna have to actually trigger him, I guess. Okay. How should we kill him? I guess we could use the... Uh... Can't see him anymore. So 73, okay. 73 to 109. Let's document that. That makes more sense. I was going to say it didn't add up the other way. Would have been a little bit shy. So warp speed 102 to 153. I will see if I can get him with the soul gem for you. It's going to require a little patience. Eclipsing the competition. Okay. He's dead already, dang it. Anyway, let's let's go back to the training grounds, I guess. All right, or the academy, whatever you want to call it. So we basically now need to get the damage on the Shadow Blade. Increased damage, that is. And we'll also see if we got a jump on the 60 to 90 from the combo. So the basic attack is 73 to 109. That's up to 78 now, the combo. I don't know why that doesn't work here. Yeah, so 78 to 117. Alright, so... 
73-73-73 and then the pound is 78 to 117. Uh, if we could actually get the four to work, which I'll try. It's very hard for me to get that one to go. Especially near someone. See, it always works now. Press the tag button again to return to playing as your style. Sharpening my wings. Uh, I'm having a hard time getting the blade to work now. Because when I'm doing that, warp speed seems to trigger in. So now you can't hold it down, and it's going to do 26 to 39, which should be the critical. So that's our damage count there. Uh, it's difficult to get into it though, so Shadow Blade, 26 to 39. Uh, he's starting to get annoying at this point, that chump chest, but uh... That said, that is that. Uh, a spinning finish, basically, it seems to have given us uh, the combos that jumped 60 to 90. Uh, we had the same damage, and then they did 60 to 90. That's now up to 78 to 117. Uh, the previous, um, 56 to 84, is up to 73 uh, to 109, which is nice. Again, 78 to 117 on the combos now. The Shadow Blade, if you can ever get into it, is up 26 to 39 from 20 to 30. When you're ready to and learn then about Warp Speed, uh, which was doing 78 to 117, is now doing 102 to 153, albeit that's kind of a little bit out of order. And then the Soul Gem, shoot two black holes on top of each other, which sometimes doesn't work well. Really annoying. There we go. So you can get to see it here. It basically color washes things a bit, and then just a massive explosion of 450 to 675. So that's really cool. Now something I want to see. Is actually. if we can get this to work. So that's going to do 26 as well. So, uh, that was a strange noise. But 26 to 39 there, so that is that. That is the Wing Warrior path for uh, Mr. Black out here. I'm kind of torn on which one I like better. Uh, this one seems to be more straightforward, but it's kind of a little bit complex. Uh, you basically wind up doing Your primary attack damage, jumps all the way up to 73 to 109. The combos that were 60 to 90 become 78 to 117 to finish that off. Your Shadow Blade, if you can ever get it to work, is 26 to 39. Warp Speed, which works quite well when you're actually around real enemies, uh, moves all the way up to 102 to 153 with basically four counts of damage. So. You know, 102 x4 would be, what, 408, basically. Uh, then critical side, 153. Uh, the Soul Gym is fantastic down either path. I honestly might say I like Prince of Darkness better. And while Cloud Gravity is really cool and I love the aesthetics of it, under the cover of darkness and dark energy clouds is just really, really practical. Um... So yeah, I mean, it would be nice if we would have had like a base upgrade that addressed the wing whip and maybe jumped the damage just a little bit. But uh, I don't know, you really, you can't go wrong with either one. It kind of depends on your play style. If you're a fan of defensive type paths, Prince of Darkness is no doubt what you want to go with. Uh, if you're a fan of something that's got a totally unique element to it, Prince of Darkness is where you want to go for cloud gravity. 
Um, if you're a fan of, you know, like the hyper dash attacks you saw with warp speed, you'd want to take Wing Warrior. If you prefer uh, the primary attack over the secondary, oh, take Wing Warrior. You're if you feel like one of those is OP or good enough as is, take the one that you feel is weaker or would stand to benefit. Uh, just personally, I think Prince of Darkness kind of narrowly edges out Wing Warrior, so I may wind up resetting this guy. I don't know just yet. I'm liable to play around with him a little bit, but uh, that said, this is Blackout. Be sure to take those links at the top of the video description box. You can go to my personal site, oneaweasel.com or the Skylander Club forum, skylanderclub.com. Uh, the links will take you straight to the post dedicated to Blackout. You'll see his base upgrades, Prince of Darkness. Uh, you will see Wing Warrior here. You will see the exclusive attack damage number spreadsheet. Uh, I'm going to get Chomp Chest off there. I promise I'm probably going to start editing these and just do Spotlight tomorrow night. But so, uh, that said, thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on Twitch, where, as mentioned earlier, I stream my uh, Skylanders Trap Team. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. Leave a like, your support is much appreciated. Uh, leave a comment, tell your friends about it, subscribe if you have not. Uh, encourage your friends to do the same thing. But uh, for myself and Blackout and his upgrade pass, thanks so much for watching. And I will catch you back here for our next Skylanders Trap Team upgrade session.